I'm ready. Third trial. I'm ready. Third trial. There's also something funny that I want to tell you, but I can't because then you'll expect it and that it'll ruin it. But like, always expect the unexpected, Gabe. You never see it coming. Also, why the fuck is Jack already Jack? Like, Toko, you good? She was Jack during all this, remember? Yeah, but like, go back already. I mean, she, she did go back and then trial. she saw a dead body and then turned back. Pussy. This is not Blair, the game you're not you want to be in if you're, if not you're afraid that. of dead bodies. You're not doing that, cat. No. Go. Go. What's the name of that group from My Hero? Wild Wild Pussycats? Sure. <laughs> That's Blair. Oh, they're from season three. Have you still not seen season three? Uh, I've... Is that the one where they're out training in the forest? Yeah, that's I, the group. Okay, people. then I don't... I think I've finished it? I think I've finished it. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Yeah, the wild, wild pussycats are the ones training them out there. I, yeah, I, I, I certainly finished it. I think they got back from that training session. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Wait, are we not going to do an intro? Appears. Did I, you forget about intros? I did forget about intros, and... Is, is this an Animal Crossing thing? I think this is an Animal Crossing thing. No, this is me about to get DP'd by Monokumas. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Timmy Tommy over here. He's multiplied? <laughs> nope, not multiplication. It looks like the way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> you wanna see Can me run to that rock? Do you wanna see me do it again? <laughs> Which one is the real Monokuma? I don't give a fuck. Kick both of them. You got two legs. Mm. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was so busy making fun of Monokuma. I was like, character. Mm. Oh man. Oh. Bruce Jackson, okay. <clears throat> Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy, it's a little so not as posh as usually, but whatever. It's like. You're not playing along, along, along. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. And if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train er, at elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then. Shall we go? This please. is the note train into emotional town. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you. Here, I'll, I'll read him. I told you already. I didn't do it for serious. Hmm. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume? Or the note? I did. Ugh. Um, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate. <sighs> then it would seem we have our culprit. Hey. This isn't a place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. Trial. That's trial. Right. Trial. I have to. Trial. I have to do it. I can't let her who killed Hufumi and Taki get away with it. For everyone who's still alive, and for the two that lost their lives. I mean, whoever killed Hufumi, they get a high five. But you know, Taka's a little bit unforgivable. Uh, yeah, Taka's amazing. The one who killed Hufumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is you. Someone right here. Um, it's um. Uh, did my was that supposed the, to automatically do that? The ceiling titty. The ceiling titty. Was it automatically supposed to do that? Or was I supposed to be able to talk to them? No, I don't think so. I think it automatically does that. Okay, I don't know the answer. Also, to that it was the ceiling titty. No, the ceiling normally titty. you can talk to them. So I think by I mean, that was us talking to them. Well, okay, no, I mean, normally you can actually stop and talk to them, and they'll be like, just get on with it already, kind of thing. I'm pretty I sure- I think that's what we just did. It was just a cutscene. This time. I'm saying my my X button was held down, it was stuck, and it just popped back up, and then suddenly it did the icon. I, I'm not sure if that was coincidence or not. I don't know. The door is closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. 
The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up onto a There was no elevator music, fate. so I added it. I heard you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I do realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. That's the worst. Hell yeah, climaxes. <laughs> Do you need me to skip over this? <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That meme that, um, I don't know who it was posted earlier, the fucking Where's Groudon meme. I did the same thing. I cried for like five minutes. Uh, anyway, okay, okay. Only because of you! Why? Why are you making just do such cruel things to each other? What? what? Do you really what? hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. I literally do that every day now. Like I'm just like wah 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 when I'm confused by something. Yeah, I'm I, like no. I know. You are not Monokuma. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Yeah, I'm better than. Don't this. rush me. Of course I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start it. I would never be like. Stay tuned for the action pack. <laughs> the action pack quest trial after this commercial break. Yeah. I never hold on to you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to Man, your assigned seats. We don't ever have to hear Hifumi do that fucking gag where he says something calmly and then immediately, like, screams about it. Oh, <laughs> how amazing. Praise the murderer. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith. A Hold deadly on, Hold on, class game. trial. A deadly piece of gum, a deadly lemon bar, a deadly pencil, a deadly mouse, a deadly... Shot glass, a deadly match, a deadly candle, a deadly ultra Stop naming ultra the things from around your computer. <laughs> I got it. I mean, if he's gonna do the same shit. I literally got it after a lemon bar. Hey, leave me alone. Lemon bars are good. Especially with tea. Okay. Alright, check them dire skills. Menacing focus increases the focus gauge by five. Effective during the class trial. Cost four SP. Put that bad boy right there. That Algorithm might be increases all we the got. speed of memorizing statement. Effective during the non-stop debate. Melodious voice increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. Okay. Yo, rip Sayaka. <sighs> okay. Anything I need to know? I need to do it. Uh, for me? Oh yeah, just you might want to recheck all those just to see what they're about. No, the M is different. So the note, the handwriting is different between the note Fumi had and the note that we had. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Um, my guess is that one of them is Hifumi's handwriting and the other is the killer's. This might be something... So I'm going to lay it down the way I believe it happened. I'm not sure if I've said it in video yet. I don't know the actual plot of this yet, so this is just my mm -hmm. theorizing. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe that Hifumi killed Taka, and Celeste killed Hifumi. That is the way I think this went down, just based on a few things that have happened. I believe Hifumi faked his own death, and Celeste and Aoi were watching him. Celeste then distracted Aoi, bringing her to the bathroom, while Hifumi cleaned up his glasses, made his way upstairs to meet Celeste, in the same room that, in the art room, where they had done the hammers and made the robot armor and everything. I then think that Celeste killed Hifumi in that same room. I don't think okay. that is my current working theory. I don't know how much of that's right, if any of it, but there's just quite a few inconsistencies here that don't make sense if Hifumi was actually dead. So, okay. yeah. I think that the fact that we found the body and it, the message popped up saying a body had been discovered was actually just coincidence with them finding Taka's body. And then when it said it again, when we found Hifumi's body and Taka's body, that's why. Okay. Finish preparations. Class trial all arise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. 
So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And we have the to listen to this every time. Everyone this is the third else time. will graduate. Now then, to begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? It was Hero. Was that? He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place. Alibi. We found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! Who are you what? calling a murderer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jack. I am okay. sorry to say, Hero, but we do Pot have meat evidence. Kettle. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it, and all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is Hero really the killer, or... Before anything else, we have to make that clear. Let's Phoenix right this. Let's make it Phoenix right. Robo Justice costume, Yes, Hero's message and Robo Justice blueprints. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true, it's a conspiracy! Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! Okay. Okay. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Um... I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! It's is there a, true. a, it's a speed up button? Yeah. There a why? Okay. No! What was Just that? Hold on a second! That's when you take one of the weak points and you use it as the bullet, remember? Oh. No, I completely forgot to about that, to be honest. Okay. Man, good luck in the third game. They add even more. <laughs> I mean, if we games. weren't doing this so frickin' far apart and everything, um... <laughs> Shut up. The blueprints... Compelling evidence. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I don't understand what buttons. Oh, okay. It's not true. It's hero one. No, just hold on a second. That button. Got it. You may want to like Everything open up the menu to read what your room. truth bullets say specifically. Mm hmm. And we know that that the message is the one from the suit parts, they are hero. All proof enough. That you are yeah, okay, have it selected. Uh, it's not true, it's Hero one. No! Just Sorry, it took it's taking me a second to get right back into this. Everything you found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are What? Okay, apparently that's not right. No, you hit it with the wrong thing, Gabe. You hit it with the silent holder for the white noise. You have to hit it with the other one. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. It's wrong button. It's not true. It's yeah, on mouse for some reason, left click is the silencer, and then right click is the like bullet, which is annoying. Should definitely be the other way around. No, wrong. You got that wrong. Sorry, I'm I'm relearning all the controls again. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote. Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different. Wouldn't after, you say? uh, nothing. Manakuma, I didn't say anything. <laughs> what? The fuck, y'all? That's supposed to be a secret, bruh. Mm -hmm. When you compare it yep. to the blueprints. They talking about Alter Ego right in front of Manakuma like he ain't got ears. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. I mean, to be fair, Alter Ego could really just be talking about Jack at this point. 
No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. Some I like how his defense is that I am a dumbass. It's true, though. <laughs> and he is not the it only is one. true. I think Hiro is innocent as well. What? Then who was in that robo-justice suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Can you never do anything? Of course Biaka you passed bitch. it off. Who was in the Can't Robo do nothing. Justice suit? Gah. Hey, Biakia. <laughs> the Illuminati! You cracked the case, Makoto! Isn't this you blew it wide open! Yeah. I... But Asahina was with us. Yeah. So it's it's the obvious answer, Gabe. It's Hero. Yes. Because we saw in the one scene where um, yeah. when we found him that they the suit was made to fit him. Okay, He's that's the not the uh, that's not what he was asking though. Obviously he no, it was asking who was in the suit. In that particular Hero. suit. Never found any time yes. Second suit. It was Hero. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption. I love and it. what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! All things have a proper order. Oh, He's right. Byakugan's actually right. And I'm not hating him on this one. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? And then you remember Trial 2, and then you're like, oh yeah. Well, the thing is that tri oh, okay, Trial 1 and 2. But Trial 3, he has yet to be condescending. Well, no, I we meant specifically what he did in the of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. Not just his general attitude. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Things that are used to move Taka's body, they must have been. Um. Yeah. I got it! Yeah, I think you can do these in either order. It still works. I wasn't I sure exactly how it worked, to be honest. They were yeah, a I was a little and a tarp, too, but... right? So let's see if I can explain. <laughs> Is he mad that Is we got it right? He's mad that I got it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Papa prick disappeared from the equipment room, and then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time. It was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. Was stored in the so balls the like pee. See I'm so they sorry. They decided to use it when they moved so Taka's sorry. body. That way, they wouldn't it's leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the doll. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? First off, this isn't an actual courtroom. I don't need photo evidence. Second off, if multiple people saw it, then it's truth. Don't be an ass. That dolly was made specifically yeah. for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. You know what about it? It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Unless this was planned beforehand. Is it not possible? That it was in the repository all along, and you simply didn't realize it? No, because we saw it originally. 
It wasn't like, oh hey, I didn't see it there, now it's there. It is a, we saw this in another location. She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anymore. <sighs> Come on, Celeste. Cause we a D rank? You raised it to C rank, bitch. Come on, we deserve your respect now. We have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Yeah, well, I rarely understand. I'm the one who's led these past two trials, no, you bitch. Led and you solved are two bitch. different things. I mean, you know, I've led the trial while being pushed around by Kyoko, but still, I was in the lead. She was behind me, pushing me in the direction. New element has been added. Reloading. Starting with the next bullet time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen underneath the temple marker, you will see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements. From now on, just locking on and pressing the Y button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload by simply pressing the X button. Just like locking on, you'll have to press the X button in time with the temple marker. Basically, just remember the X button now is functional along with the A and Y buttons. You'll automatically reload at the start of the fever time, and your ammo will not decrease. Oh, but if your action dis difficulty is set to gentle, you won't have to reload at all. In which case, yeah, you can ignore everything I just me. said. Well then, good that luck, me, and bitch. have fun. I didn't even have to deal with fucking uh, white noise, because I was on gentle. You do have to deal with it in the later you games, though, they even put it in the game, so it's annoying. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot Gabe, you have agree. to do that. Alright. You are a fool. Really. Lies will get you nowhere. They just told us about it, Gabe. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. You have to reload more, Gabe. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are cool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are cool. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. Wow, this is actually awful. That yeah, lasts she's such a long time. Negative time. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you used fever time, it would have gone back to normal. But I don't remember how to use fever time. I never used it. I cannot agree. This should prove it. That's where you're wrong. You just barely did that. Look at your health, bro. I can't see my health twice. I think it was half heart. If you're yeah, asking it was half for heart. proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. I also don't know how to use fever time, so. When I found the dolly yeah, in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. Especially now. It was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident. As they wheeled the body out of the room, and as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. <laughs> yeah. It seems that this trial is going a bit differently. Bianchi and Celeste are both upset with us now, not even just like, eh, whatever, you're an idiot. Yaki is upset that we're actually doing well, and Celeste upset because we're about to catch her! Well, anyway, yeah. that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, it's the subject of how Robo-Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then... I'm not interested. What kind of robot is it? I'm not sure it's that a robot. Really matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. Yeah. What is it, Gabe? Uh, you have no movement at all. You can't see for crap. You can't go up the staircase. Well, I mean, with the dolly, you wouldn't be able to go up the staircase anyway. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. Yeah, we are. As we know, 
Taco was He's specifically talking about the how the person moved the person there, with the dolly. The body was moved to the yeah, the culprit wrapped the body then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled them. Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't... Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. Then you could push the dolly no problem. Okay. So, the killer just so I have to know it's a little too slow. I fired it immediately, actually. It was just a little bit too low. Uh, sorry, I... I don't think I realize it. As we know, top end from there. Yeah, the cut then loaded it onto the dolly and we Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have Well, yeah. But even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. You got that wrong. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. I love pointing and saying you well, got I that wrong. Cut through those words. You're absolutely right that you could Sorry, push a dolly know. without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? Come on, Hina. Why does the bat in here? I can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anything this time. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, are you gonna yeah. look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? So. Sorry. <laughs> hush. I'm a literal meme machine. So. I just regurgitate. Instead yeah. of a killer robot, you're a meme robot. And, uh. So, what we know is that Bianchia wants this to go through. Aoi mm -hmm. is obviously like, oh, it can't be Hero. Hero is an idiot, so he couldn't pull this off. So really, that only leaves two people. It seems like it'd be awfully hard. To I know that, that Sakura is there, but we're not counting Sakura. Sakura is good. Why not? Well, what's to stop you from simply okay. pushing the dolly with your feet? Yes, when you can't even I totally thought it was Sakura that killed your hero really the first time I played this. <laughs> <all that way? laughs> How dare you? I don't know why. Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Yeah, not that I, I felt bad after. On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? You can't do that! There's absolutely no chance that the costume is taken off just move the body. You can't take it off by yourself. These are the same answer. <laughs> Technically. I mean, I, don't think I feel like the, the bottom one is more of a... Never comes off thing. I mean, it's too stylish. Mm, I don't know about that one. So, remind me of something. Who was Hello. it that screamed when we were upstairs that they saw R Robo Justice running down the hall? Celeste? Yeah. Just saying. We never saw Robo Justice. That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then you really can't take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up? Of course I wasn't making it up. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. Yeah, that's right! So, it's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? That's no, literally wait. just what Hina just said. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? Except it's obvious fake and really, like, stupid. I thought it was stupid the moment when I saw it. If whoever was Yo, in that suit game, is damn, not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? Do you remember? The twin of Buster, September. Yeah. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. So, Hifumi knew the name of the robot, but he's like, oh, I just decided to call it that right now. Yeah. The 
It's just really obvious. And the culprit are one and the same. It yeah. I mean, is it? Yeah, that's gotta be right. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it before we rush to a verdict. Shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps, but where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe Ooh, I love that movie. New. Marathon? <laughs> I, I mean, I heard the TV show is good. I watched the movie when I was a kid and I loved it. And I read a little bit of books. I watched a bit of the TV show. It's pretty boring. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. What a pain in the ass. I think it's just I because disagree. I really love the characters and the, the actors line. from the this is what it movies. Takes, we have to do and their it. TV show counterparts are not exactly the same. So. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. All right, then. Let's take another look back at what happened. Kyoko was doing drugs. I suppose we could start Hard with drugs. this morning. Like, coffee. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Yeah. Makoto, and Hina, Kyoko, and Petroleum myself. gas? And, um, Viagra. You know, hard drugs. Yes. <laughs> we waited hard there for drugs. quite a while, but nobody else showed up, so we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi Toko. in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office... Yep, yeah. since the West was the when only Celeste one to ever told see us that, We decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that... I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. And then... At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office, while Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi, dead. Did you though? And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Are you sure about that? I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us and she told us something very surprising. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time, 
Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository, which is where we rediscovered the corpses. I think that about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. What do you think happened to talk with you? I think Fumiko. Got it? Let's see. Record wrist watch, Monica will file number three, and you'll see Hero's message. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. While Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. I love you, Hina. Hina's not the brightest, but honestly, she has a good heart and that's enough. She tries. She tries her darndest. Okay, so this is at seven? Uh no. six. Six. Right, okay. Like, I, I was I was looking at it I was looking at it rotating. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if he died before he threw me. Or perhaps it was after. He already know what order they were killed in. Oh no? Do you want a hint, Gabe? What's that? You gotta use the mechanic that you forgot about. I figured, but I figured that was enough to go off of. Well, now everybody's just gonna vote for you because you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Which is up. stupid? Now you fucked up. Well, yeah, I it need makes to see this eventually. the first one. But only the first one. Yeah, but only the first one. Is this really the end for all of us? Do we have to restart the entire trial? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yes. I refuse to give up yet. I think you just restart it wherever you left off. Okay, good. Well, that's honestly the that that piece of evidence I had would make this incorrect. It would make that a contradiction. Well, fine, it's fine. I wonder if he died before perhaps it was after. We already know what, what order. What order? you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed while Taco's death came. <sighs> I mean, to so be fair, but they're Taka not Taka talking about after. times right now. They're specifically talking about just the order. Once yeah. you get to the times, the wristwatch will be important. It's but... it's the same problem I had with Phoenix Wright. So there do... are multiple right answers, but it has one that it specifically wants you to pick. So yeah, do I just I take the numbering and use it on the other one? Or no. the, uh, I meant the order on the other one? Yes. Okay. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order he I, I didn't mean to... Okay, wrong one. I meant to press A? Or E? I, don't, I really don't know what button that is to do that. Shoot! Me neither, because you play with a game today. Okay. So. Okay, wait. The help button's there. Focus gauge. You're looking for the absorb. Firing truth bullets. Called. Loading truth bullets. Quick select. Flashback. Silencer. Wait, wait, wait. Da, ba, da, ba, da, da. Flashback? That one. Yeah. If you try a weak spot and then hold down the Y button, you can use that weak spot as a temporary... Yeah, I don't know why, but it's called absorb in like everything else besides the game. I wonder if he died before he thought perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. 
Taka came last. Okay, so you have to hold down the same button I already pressed. I just didn't hold down long yeah. enough. Because of the numbering of the justice hammer. You got that wrong. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. I sort of watched you Yeah, I was Hold using on. the abridged There's no thing. reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same no, no, order no, as their numbers. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then, let's see the proof. Okay. This is the part I need to use that. Oh. Hangman's Gambit! <laughs> um. W. W? There we go. Just wait till you get to the later games, Gabe. The second game has what they like to call improved Hangman's Gambit. It's not improved. I believe it. Spoiler alert. Done. Wristwatch. Easy. Now I understand. I am, I got it. I got it. Papa's wristwatch. See? Look. It broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night... Cuts back to our argument. I mean, it wasn't an argument. Oh no, it was our argument in our head. It was, it was, it was our reasoning. Oh, yeah. So if it wasn't broken after six last night, then he must have been attacked around six this morning. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. That's it's exactly almost like why the culprit put the numbers on each hammer and had them increase yeah. in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Except, you know, obviously false. Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder, but all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. Incorrect. With him, at least, we're all safe. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. Yeah. Then we all ran mm -hmm. down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. This is a lot of repeating of things I already know is wrong. It's frustrating. That's totally true. We're all mm -hmm. in the clear. Jack. But they're just, you know, going over everything. But Jack has no reason to believe any of this. Oh, I know. I don't must think have Jack really gives a fuck. Screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on. If that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. Okay, you can't just say there is no tape, but also, yeah, no, there shouldn't be assumed there's Don't a tape. Don't making stuff up! Anyway, we all have rock-solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? There were two people not accounted for. Three if you count Hifumi. And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the Normally equipment Normally you don't room. count a dead body. It wasn't a dead body. At that okay. time, I know it's wrong. ...together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time! Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? You could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. 
Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Ifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Ifumi. Or I like how honest she's about it. Like, one me. On the other this hand, time. Hiro this and Kyoko had disappeared. So they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. Who done so it? Instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third? In that short amount of time? Oh man, yeah! There's no way! It'd be impossible! You'd have to be some kind of robot! I, I mean... <laughs> well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. Yo, it's a fucking zombie invasion, yo. Good luck. The, the dead body mo There's a moth on, on my own? window. Trying to desperately get him out. It's break. Not another. Hello, moth friend. No. I don't think it has Shut the fuck up, clairvoyant pussy. I think what she's implying is we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. He was alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Oh no, Perhaps that's crazy. That it isn't possible. Is it really possible? Yes. Heck, half of our group already believes it. I mean, half. There's still like seven of us. There's only three that think it. Fine. I said like half. Are you saying that when you're half gave you in the Celeste. nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually Hey, Gabe, do you want a real quick alive? hint? No. Hmm? It is impossible. Do you want a real quick hint? Do I? Do you think Hifumi I need it? Dead, yeah. Doubt. What? And you know that it's how. fucking none of those. Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement, along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found, and that is why the announcement was made. Yeah. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Are you saying that when we first there's a chance he was actually still No. If Hifumi was dead, and you know that half surely you heard the body discovery that Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure that maybe the actually, announcement I think it was, doing that was intended backwards. to signal someone else's discovery? Okay. So we're just saying the same thing that Kyoko's already saying. No. Hifumi was dead. Uh, and you know that how yes. shortly you heard the body discovered. She already says this. We're just taking her arguments to claim for her own. You got that wrong! What's wrong? Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? So I'd say the biggest issue I've seen in this case thus far was the fact that the killer was able to get us both to pop into both rooms at the exact same time. If that hadn't worked out so famously, then it would have been really obvious this wasn't the case from the beginning. Of course it was. Almost the announcement like they did that on purpose. Right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. 
Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. First time. And yet it played when we found Tifumi. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. No, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means, even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. I got it! Toko was found unconscious. The time in the repository <laughs> when we rediscovered the two bodies. Ding dong, ding dong. The body's been discovered. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. And that's just part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh, oh, I know, I know! Because he was the forgotten! Heck, you're supposed to be a genius sewer killer, right? Who can pull off anything and, like, never gets caught? Then you really should be able to see through this, unless you're just trolling us at this point, which I believe it, honestly. That is the worst logic I have ever heard. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Okay, then. Let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. There has to be some proof that Hifumi is. was still alive. I have to find and show it to everyone. Spin right round, baby, right round. Let the record, baby, make your argument. Hifumi's glasses, repository dolly, repository door. I mean... Well, here's one thing we do know. The first time we found Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared! And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved, and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned... I assume that's wrong. No, maybe it's the next one. Okay. Shoot! It's fine. I don't mind losing a little bit of health right here. Well, here's one thing we do. The first time we found it, and then... His body dis- And the next time it was in- But when you compare his body be other than the chain, there was no notable difference. There we go. That's what I should've done. You got that wrong! No, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this one doesn't seem hard, it just takes a while. In fact, there was one clear difference yeah. between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. His glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to feel the rest of us in? When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. So I have to say, it's not only really lucky for them that all these people have freakish pink blood, but also that this place has pink paint of that kind of quality. Because I'm assuming that's paint. I mean, it's not. And oh right, blood bags. Blood. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. In the nurse's office trash can. I got it. It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. 
This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. The character was... Princess Piggles. From Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess, I think. I highly doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point. And the only people here who wear glasses are... I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. I'm glad Hifumi's not dead so I don't have to listen to him rant about that. A few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. <laughs> then there's no question. It belongs to Hifumi. Mm. I like how Jack doesn't say so that she wouldn't use that though. Is... Just that all what she needs is some you? tissues. What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? That's a good point. And it must have been him, right? So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. He pretends to be dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? But then, if he was just pretending to be dead, what was with all that blood? Was it paint or something? Nope, it was the blood, as the Cassie reminded me. Office contains packs of hey, all I said was that it was blood. Cassie reminded all me. I said. Spoiler. That's all I, I said. If he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere. But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot. And if Hifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. It was me. Talk himself. I got it. It could only have been Hifumi. While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked? Well, after the bodies disappeared, we all went looking for them, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. But when we got there, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. Which means, when Hina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And it could only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. But that means he took part in the murders. I, I just can't believe it. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right Makoto? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless body? 